beautiful EP3 in the house. This one has been tuned by us before, but it's had a better exhaust and an RRC inlet manifold fitted since last time. So uh, it's on a K Pro, so we're going to plug into it and we're going to start tuning. Here we go. What a beautiful yeah, engine bay. Beautiful. Seen this one before we have silver ep3 uh customers made some minor modifications to the car well, well, well I, 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 I say minor but obviously yeah relatively big he said he removed the m2 inlet manifolds to do a start motor and do a knock sensor because it was easier for him to do on his drive obviously by doing that um and he realized that the ports when he looked at the impressions on the gasket on the m2 manifold were way off from where they should be and realized obviously i think that's going to cost me some power so he decided to fit an rrc i think he was probably right yeah which was obviously a good shout in my opinion uh, he fit an rrc he already had a dynadase induction kit um he had got a four to one decap manifold already on there um and he decided he was going to go for the tegu 70 mil exhaust i can't remember if he had a two and a half or two and a quarter before i think it might have been two and a quarter because he finished on uh, all the ducks last time two 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 um uh, it's made power pretty much everywhere i think is where we've made power around sort of five brake generally across the range yeah probably yeah. made about 10 or a little bit over towards yeah, the top end. Yeah, we make end about 232. About 232. So, uh, again, 10 at the top end. From around 7.5 onwards, you really see where it went flat before and it, it just continues 
uh, you know, on its uh, power slope, as you would put it, um, you know, sort of cold in a 45 degree angle. So yeah, it did make power throughout, but especially in that last sort of 1500 RPM, it really did make power. It's all about flow. It's all about flow. Uh, yeah, so we really, to be fair, the coal was already mapped. Uh, we did sweep through on the fuel in today, and obviously we went through for cam angles, uh, just to see if there was any improvements to be had there on the extra airflow. Sounds beautiful now, you know. It, mm. noti you can, it noticeably sounds better, especially with that Dyna Day's induction kit. Mm. Really roars. Yeah, so I think the customer's happy with that. I mean, obviously, he didn't I don't think he necessarily changed the bits he changed. To make power. To make power as such. He sort of noticed that the manifold didn't look great and thought, well, I, I think that would be better if I just changed mm. that. So he did do that, obviously. He said uh, a few bits recently, like big brake kit and things like that. Yeah, obviously, just working today of like, can I bring it back and just make sure everything's okay? And if it just wants a little tweak, tweak it, which is exactly what we've done. Yeah. Should we have a look at that graph? Let's do it. Well, there we go. Power across the red range there. And as Richard described at the top, end, as it just sort of died off at the end, now it's continuing to make power, which is beautiful. And we finish on 231.3 brake horsepower, 192 at the wheels. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, yeah, really like this car. I love a silver EP3. And this one's got all the, all the right kit now. Really, really, uh, really love it. So uh, thanks once again to the customer. Thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, code word? Mm, what do you reckon for a code word, Rich? RRC. Well, there you go, RRC. And we'll see you more on the next one, won't we, mate? We will indeed. We will indeed. Wait, it was pretty fast.